As he pledged on the campaign trail, Houston Mayor John Whitmire is taking the first steps toward addressing the difficult challenges posed with the city's homeless. Fox 26 political reporter Greg Grugan here with the latest development from City Hall. Greg. Rossi, this is a tough one. The mayor is seeking to find the productive middle ground between delivering a compassionate helping hand and countering what many view as a growing threat to the public at large. So the goal is education deterrent, is get them help, get them out of that situation. Okay. And enforcement is our last option. Front and center at Houston City Council, how best to contend with the homeless. What impact does designating an area as a civility zone have? I mean, in my world, all of Houston ought to be a civility zone. Simply put, a space where people cannot sit, sleep, or store personal belongings on the sidewalk during daylight hours. In the neighborhood of Riverside Terrace, residents are seeking any legal or statutory tool to lessen an incursion viewed as a threat to public safety and quality of life. There are drug addicted individuals. There are meth heads that are laid out on the sidewalk. We're concerned about the increase in crime, such as theft, violence, and you know, when you're observing somebody publicly using the bathroom, it's just devastating. And when you're at the red light and they're knocking on your door and you're a female and you're there by yourself, you're afraid. Clearly frustrated by the large number of homeless bathing within and loitering around the city's main public library, Mayor Whitmire is pledging an aggressive quest for lasting solutions. You can go within walking distance of here and you've got meth users and other folks passed out right this minute. As those policies unfold, Reverend Bradley Sullivan is urging they be guided by compassion. About 47% of the people in the greater Houston area are asset limited, income constrained, vulnerable. They are any time in their lives, a couple weeks or a couple months away from being homeless. 47% of the people in the greater Houston area. Adding to the challenge ahead, a recent court ruling which has invalidated a long-standing council ordinance prohibiting the private distribution of food in unauthorized areas. Rashi? Well, Greg, what do you think that the mayor wants to do long term? Look, the mayor really likes this place in San Antonio called Haven for Hope. Uh, mm -hmm. It's a sprawling campus, indoor outdoor facilities, mental health resources, and drug rehab all in one place. Wants to do something like that. Thinks here. the city needs one. Mm -hmm. All right, Greg, thank you.